defend the world from the return of the Shadow Kings, just as the brave Pharaoh did 5,000 years ago. YouTube, Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! here today, and we have about 10 mail day items that we need to open here. Um, one's so big, I can't even fit it on the forward screen, so we're going to open this one first. You're kind of right in front of me. Um, it's only one item, but the guy used a really big box for some reason to ship it. Um, it's not even for me, like most things here on the channel. Um, so I don't even know what it is, but I just know it's one item. Let's see if we can get cut through here and see what goody resides. So we did get it down to a 10 level pack job. So let's see what's here inside of this Kaiba 10. All this for a Celtic Guardian OB first edition. What a package job. I don't have that 10 though, so that, that will be a 10 I will keep. All right, so let's get this cut out of here and quickly look at the condition in a card saver in a ziploc baggie in a tin in a huge cardboard box so that is some shipping right there and they don't even put it in a penny sleeve all right glossy variety um, looks really good it just OC on the front yeah, just a really mint card there, but a little off center, but can't control that at all. So that is mail item number one. Okay, uh, mail item I've already opened here. We have Warrior of Tradition, mint nine. So I needed this for my tournament pack two collection. I do not, uh, did not own one of those in any grade. So um, I'm fine with nines on some things. So kept that or I bought that as a nine, knowing, obviously knowing it was a nine, I did not grade it. We have another box here that I'm gonna attempt to open here in front of me. I need a little more room here for some of these bigger items to be able to get them open here on the screen, but I still want some sort of video proof, um, even though this isn't the best here that I'm kind of doing it off of all camera angles, but Hopefully, uh, nothing is wrong in the item. Anyway, I'll try to rip the box open here on camera so that we have it. Bubble, bubble. Okay, it looks like we have, ooh, my. We're gonna have a lot, a lot of items here. What in the world is this? This is gonna be a horrible, horrible long process, but decent packaging for sure. Okay, well, let's quick, quickly see what we have here in one of these. If we can get this ripped open, maybe it won't be too bad. A lot of tissue paper. Okay, nope, I don't know these are. Okay, so I'm gonna guess maybe a complete set of Invasion of Chaos. So there's gonna be a lot of fast forwarding here. So we'll, uh, we'll put those right there for now and we'll keep on going here and, and let the 20 times zoom commence. Okay, so far we have added a um, pretty good lot here, kind of all over the board. We've freed the Brave Wonder, a Dimension Fusion from Invasion of Chaos, Guardian Angel Joan, beautiful Dark Paladin there, Ejection Fairy Lily, 
Rope of Life, Twin of Thunders, Strike Ninja, and Wild's Nature release. So a lot of Invasion of Chaos, but not limited to Invasion of Chaos. So I think I might have come up with a way to somewhat get in these fast. Um, just rip the top off here and then kind of push up at the bottom. And they've been kind of popping out pretty well, but I don't want to use the pull tabs um, and pull these loose to the top loaders. We've freed the uh, Matchless General. Dark Flare Knight from Dark Crisis. Beautiful artwork there. And then it looks like there's about three in a pile and a nobleman of pops out. So this is gonna be a much longer mail video than I anticipated, um, even with fast forwarding. Which is fine. Definitely some cool mail, none of this is mine. We have a Dark Mirror Force. A Levia Dragon Daedalus. Probably did not pronounce that correctly. And then a Terror King Archfiend. Cool artwork there also. All right, we're probably like a third of the way through on this, just, just this box. An Air Knight, super off-centered. Dark Master Zork, really beautiful. Dark Crisis Super, one of my favorites from that set. And a Mirage Knight, also from Dark Crisis. So a lot of old school goodies here. A lot of them, I mean, the pack job on this would be crazy. Ooh, there we go, Judgment of Anubis. Hard secret to find in PSA uh, tin condition. And last in this set, we have a interdimensional matter transport. So yeah, a lot of Dark Crisis, Invasion of Chaos, LOD, so far. Cost down, beauty there. Different dimension dragon. And what do we have for the third card? I'm guessing another Dark Crisis. Yep, Blast Held by a Tribute. Cool card there. All right, we only have uh, probably like 10 more of these to go. Medora from Dark Crisis. So we're gonna we're gonna probably have about a complete hollow set of a couple of these, uh, two dozen three sets. Spell Vanishing, Dark Crisis, and Guardian Seal. So we've uh, pretty much yeah you know, hit Exodia Necros yet or Shinado. Um, don't know what else I'm missing from Dark Crisis. Ah, Kaiser Glider, yes. Missed that one. Let's see what we have here. We have some big boys. Ooh, Berserk. Probably one of the um, more sought after uh, supers from the set and Butterfly Dagger Elma. DD Warrior Lady and Imperial Order, so we might have a Pharaoh Servant sitting here too. And the Fiend Mega Cyria, so it kind of looks like we are trending in that direction now to Pharaoh Servant. This is a pretty wild buy. I don't know. I have an idea whose this is, but he did not tell me that he, we were getting all of these other cards um, beyond just a couple. Okay, we have Beast of Tawar. So I'm just 
struggling with this one. Legendary Fisherman, iconic one there. Off centered, good little plate it looks like. Yeah. See, I don't I don't think all these are like, you know, grade worthy, but uh, still really cool old school cards here. You know, had three or four secrets so far. A lot of a lot of cool cards. All right, so one, two, three. Probably got about 18 uh, individual cards to figure out what we have here still. So it should be a lot of fun. Um, definitely like, subscribe. I'm sure we'll be sending a lot of these off to be graded eventually. Nightmare Wheel, that is a card I'm missing. So um, would love to maybe pick that up. Let me know what your favorite card uh, so far is and then maybe uh, comment uh, overall. There's the big boy, Exodia Necros. Um, what your favorite card is in the entire uh, mail video here. A lot of tissue paper. Just an unreal amount, really. But good packaging for an XYZ Dragon Cannon. So we're probably going to finish off the Magician's Force set here, too, with an XY Dragon Cannon. And we have another cannon. We do not. We have Mystical Knight of Jackal from Pharaonic Guardian. So. Yeah, pretty much have about had every hollow from uh, 2003 and beyond. All right, let's see what we have here. More Pharaonic Guardian. Guardian Sphinx. Let's see if we can get these exposed here. Visor Shock. Creepy looking card for sure. Phronic Guardian's got some crazy artwork. And Great Dizard. Really uh, kind of Egyptian themed, which I love. So, um, an underrated set. Uh, it wasn't very playable, I don't think, but artwork wise, um, really nice. So, we have Double Spell. So, we might get a complete MFC set by the end of this. Is yards, yards of um, tissue paper here. Just buried, buried within, like you can't even see the card. We have a Fugio Ritchie, probably the most iconic card from Ferrani Guardian. And last but not least, in this heap of paper, we have a Hell Palmer. And probably the second, maybe even second or first. Both those, Fugio and Hellpalmer, are probably one, two in the set. So two more little mini packs here. So it's kind of like opening up, uh, you know, a little mystery pack. We have Skilled White Magician. We're going to have, uh, I think it's Skilled Dark Magician. No, I don't know. What, what is that? What is the, uh, its counterpart called? Book of Life and... Mirage of Nightmare. Last but not least, what will be in our final little pack here? Ooh, big, big one there. Chaos Command Magician. Beautiful artwork. We haven't had a Breaker. I uh, haven't had a Paladin of White Dragon yet, so we could see those. Ooh, there's an X cannon, X head cannon, and what will the last card be? A Z metal tank. So we didn't completely have full sets out of those, um, out of MFC and IOC and Phronic Guardian and Dark Crisis, but we had a lot of them there. That is a big pile of hollows. So we will continue on from that. Wow, don't even, don't even know where things are at. I'm so discombobulated after. Did not expect an item like that today. Next up, we have another random object. 
is a lot of foam. Wow, they shoved that box full. What do we have here? I have to get the scissors. Okay, and here we have another layer of protection. The pack jobs just never, never cease to not amaze me on the way some people come up with protecting stuff during shipment. Okay, so here I kind of hate cutting into it, but it's like they give you no other option. So you just kind of got to go gently get it started here. Just go along. Go along. And last but not least, get it broke and then go along. And we have just, I think, one card and maybe a throw-in in all that packaging. And they made me, they're going to make me cut through this too. So all of that, ooh my, so I, oh, it is a replica. I was like, I'm not too familiar with um, OCG stuff, but I know an original copy of this goes for many, many thousands. And then we have... Maybe that was a throw-in because we have the original Dark Magician Girl here. And this one is supposed to be in very, very good condition um, where we might be sending this off Super Express to be graded. So I know whose this is. Um, so we'll get the trash out of the way here and then we will very carefully look over this Dark Magician Girl. Okay. The front um, looks really good um, through the sleeve, so there's obviously gonna, that's obviously gonna hide some things, but this card is just bleeding with foil. So, really good front, back, that spec come off. Um, there are some slight vertical scratches, that's about as best I can do there with some waxing. There we go, that vertical line go up. So, um, old PSA, I would say this is a 10 all day long. Um, new PSA, I have no idea. So, um, it's, a, it's definitely a strong nine and I definitely think it can get a 10, so we'll have to see on that one. But yeah, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say you have any room to complain on that complain on for that condition um so we'll have to figure out what we're going to do there so we'll uh mix it up here i know what this item is here this big kind of big box um this is kind of something i've wanted to buy for a while now and i just i i hadn't done it hadn't done it and i'm like yeah i i kind of want to just buy it and get it over with so we will uh, cut off a couple flaps here see if i can't cut my hand and then we will show you, or I will show you what I have bought here. Nothing too fancy, uh, not even a card, just Yu-Gi-Oh related. So, at the test this product out sometime soon, we have the Yu-Gi-Oh complete set on DVD. So I think there's 32 DVDs in here run time 86 hours 47 minutes so um i just loved the show as a kid the original series and um some episodes really uh i really remember well and and towards the end i there's going to be you know big plots in there that i maybe have never even seen i've never seen the entire series so wanted to get that um there might have been a better way to do it you know somewhere streaming online but uh you know, DVD, they'll always be DVD players, so I uh, figured I would pick that up for, I think it was like 50 bucks, so I thought it was reasonable. All right, so on to the next item. 
So that's probably gonna be my favorite mail item of the video, but um, let me know yours, definitely. Ooh, yeah. So I bought um, the Spin of Managa, have the uh, Tactical Evolution Secret version in PSA 10, love the artwork on this thing. And this has just come out in Ancient Guardians and uh, picked one of these up for a pretty good price. Uh, I did not buy any boxes to open, so um, just cut cut my, um, my chances and just, um, just decided to buy it outright. So we will look at this foiling just a little uh, closer. Collector, uh, Collector River foiling has only been out in three sets now. Started in Tomb Chaos and then it was in uh, Genesis Impact and now it's out here in Ancient Guardians. So kind of a different rarity, um, different foil pattern that uh, old collectors are not accustomed to seeing, um, but there is some really good um, foil pop. Um, and, and with this being a snake, the foiling kind of looks reptilian anyway, so that um, really makes this card look beautiful in my opinion. So glad to pick that up. Don't really know what I'll do with it, um, but I have it now, so I can decide what I want to do with it at some point. So that, that might be a, a close second on my favorite mail, but I'm probably only getting two items anyway, and all these other ones are other people's. So onward we go. Actually, I do know what one more is, and that one. Okay, so here we are. On camera here, we have um, what is supposed to be a heavy Pharaoh Servant packs that I'm gonna scale here on camera and um, probably end up opening if all goes well in the world. So, so my, I just did a Pharaoh Servant box break and um, this is supposed to be heavy. Um, the code here, I think this is from a 36 pack box. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, let's see. Okay, he's got it in his sleeve. So let's, I have my scale here. We'll get it put out here. You guys aren't gonna be able to see, see it on camera, but I will be able to see it and I'll relay. So heavy um, in my experience is, um, so I'm selling this 36 pack box. I'm in the middle of this and there were some packs right around 14.2 to 14.25. Uh, let's get it off into grams. 14.26. So this falls right into what I think um, the hollow weight packs are um, for my 36 pack box. So we're going to open this up. I need to get a sleeve out. And for when, not if, for when we pull a hollow, I'll have a sleeve ready to go. And I'll get a... Uh, Card saver out here too. Got my good old handy junk drawer next to me, so we are gonna pull something epic here, hopefully. So the same guy that bought this Dark Magician Girl um, bought this pack, so he paid a pretty good amount for this pack, but I think we should be good. But we have video proof here to prove. Okay. We have Gust, Insect Barrier, Spike Bot, The Regulation of Tribe, Steel Ogre Grotto number two, Mr. Volcano, Time Seal. Okay, Sign Soldier, Mirror Wall. So it, it was a hollow. So we'll get this sleeved up. And I'm not just going out on a limb and opening this. This is what um, the guy wanted me to do. So little OC, um, but um, was a hollow pack and uh, not definitely not one of the worst one supers you could pull. He was hoping for a um, magical hats or a grave robber um, if we pulled a super, but mirror wall is not bad at all. Beautiful foiling there. So as advertised, it was a hollow pack and he got a hollow. So not all, uh, not all eBay purchases go bad. So we'll, uh, we'll cut that brief pack intermission on 
and we'll continue trucking along through what has seemed to be hours <laughs> for this mail day. So this one, this item is for myself. Um, I did a top 10 video of cards I want and um, a guy's like, oh, you used one of my pictures actually for um, your uh, your countdown. So um, I, I'm i willing to sell the card and then I was like, yeah, I'll hold off for now. Like it wasn't horribly priced or anything, but I'm just like, I'll hold off for now. And then he was going on vacation and he's like, I'll, I'll sell it to you for this. And so we made a deal and now I am now the proud owner of this card that you can see right through there. If you guys are familiar with the top 10 video, um, then you are familiar with what this card is already. We have an XX Saber Immerse Blade PSA 10. So really happy to own this. Um, definitely, I mean, the foil bleed on this thing is beautiful. Kind of get the shine through the text box there. Um, so happy to own this. Um, one off the list of 10. And uh, one step closer to completion, uh, collection completion, which is always good, especially for the bank account. So we have two more items here. And I am not entirely sure what either is. And I'm not even really entirely sure how I'm going to open these because... They are completely taped up, but it looks like it's some pretty thin packaging here. I've actually never seen anything quite, quite like this packaging. So let's just cut, maybe. All right, let's cut over here where it's single ply cardboard. Okay. Oh my, I taped it right in the middle. So we have like a little, um, little hut built in here. And then we have a card taped to the very center. Oh, okay. So. These are actually cards I bought. Um, well, uh, I don't know if they're both mine. I don't know why they sent them in two boxes, but they did. So we'll get this second box cut open too, and then I'll show you what I bought. Nothing too huge. Um, pretty tame compared to the rest of the mail day, actually. Okay, so it looks like um, they threw, yeah, they, so, um, this was really nice of them. I bought a couple rares, so I bought a Reaper of the Cards, and, um, let's see if we can, a Dragonus the Wicked Knight, and there's one more here somewhere. It looks like they threw in some rares, or some commons, just for free, so that is, uh, really nice of them. Don't know the condition, really. Looks to be, that one's kind of dinged up on the top. But this um, this arm ale looks to be uh, actually uh, in really good condition. So these uh, these rares um, look to be look to be in rather good condition one uh, from the photos. So let's see if I can look at this Reaper. I own all these cards in PSA ten, but um, they were thirty five dollars a rare. So I didn't think that was too awful of an asking price in today's age. I mean, I'd say that thing is probably worthy to go to a PSA. Really well centered. So we'll get that put in a sleeve and then let's see if we can find there is um, Darkfire Dragons. Yeah, they threw in probably five or six commons. So um, that was definitely nice of them. Look at the petite dragon there and fire grass. Yeah, pretty packed fresh mint. So yeah, I always say, you know, I never buy anything and then I hope I have a mail day here and I open stuff up and I remember all the stuff I did buy. So let's, 
Oh, did they? I don't think I, I don't know. I don't even think I bought four, but they sent me a fourth, a fourth uh, rare too. So we will, we'll have to double check that. My mind, uh, my mind could be forgetful. Oh, corner ding down there. Normally I wouldn't take the time to look at commons, but, um, you know, LOB commons are somewhat pretty expensive nowadays. So definitely a surprise for them to be a throw in. So yeah, we had these three fusions and Reaper the cards there. So, and all these hollows here. So let me know what your favorite mail day item was. Uh, mine is probably either the Venomanaga back here, the collector rare, or the complete, um, anime series on DVD. So let me know your thoughts. Uh, please subscribe if you have not. Um, definitely have some pretty epic content. Uh, gonna be coming out with a Metal Raiders box opening, an LOB first edition box opening. So subscribe, you don't wanna miss that. Uh, have mail days like this all the time, it seems like. Uh, don't really any, we should have a couple PSA returns pretty soon, I have four or five that, um, are in like step four, which is the grading process. So anything could happen at any time with that. So be on the lookout for future videos. And as always, thanks for watching.